Hallo Freunde, Frau Vidakovic here, and here's Frau Govardhan, hallo. And we are here to do our second video on uh, helping you become Google Classroom experts for this semester. Hopefully by now you've navigated through the different points that we've talked about last time in our first video. And we'd like to start this video off by just reminding you of the amazing job you're doing, of the wonderful things that you're keeping in mind as you're navigating the Zoom sessions. For example, thank you for showing up to class on time. Number two, Thank you for always keeping your mic on mute as you enter our Zooms or Google Meet sessions. And thank you for keeping your video on and making sure that you have a professional presence during all of your online classes. So today we're specifically going to focus on a very important skill, accessing and using the Google Classroom Calendar. Yes, so you might remember that last year when you were in fourth grade at Kittredge, if you are a returning Kittredge student, we had the homework calendar where you had all of your classes and their assignments listed. And we have chosen not to do that this year because it would just be far too confusing. And as you know, all of your teachers have Google Classrooms and you have all of your core content teachers um, using Google Classroom and assigning their work through this platform. So. What you are going to do to be able to access your calendar, if you have not done so already, is go to the um, nine little dots right here that will be next to your profile. And if you click on this, it will pop up different um, uh, pieces of Google Suites that you have access to. And what we are worried about right now is the calendar. Okay, so it is right here to the left, and I'm going to click on it. And mine's going to look a little crazy because it's probably going to have some personal stuff on there and all of my different classes and stuff from the staff. But what you are going to see when you click on this is that you can choose between a weekly and a monthly view. And most importantly, it will list all of your calendars. And this is what I was talking about. I have quite a few listed over here. But when you follow these steps and you look at your Google Calendar, you will only be seeing your academic classes and they will be color coded and as assignments get pushed out it will be listed per day at the time that it's due so for example um, yesterday we had a staff meeting at 11 15 to 12 15 and so that is on my calendar because if you remember from the last video all of the KMS staff members are in a KMS staff Google Classroom so as a teacher what I like to do and I'm sure some of you as students you like to keep an actual hard copy of a calendar and um, of course, I had the staff meeting already penciled in in my calendar, which I open every day before I start my day and just kind of look and see what I have to do, wh what time my meetings are, when the staff meeting is. But on top of my physical calendar where I write in and pencil in things, I also like to use this beautiful and wonderful tool that Google Classroom has to offer where I go in, click on the calendar and double check my physical calendar and make sure that they're matching and make sure that there's nothing that I'm missing or that's standing out. Yep. And it's just really important that you note that, um, that when you are going to a Google Meet for those teachers that are also using Google Meet as their platform, we use Zoom and some of the other teachers also use Zoom. But if you have teachers that are using Google Meet, that code and that link will actually also populate in your Google Calendar. So we still highly encourage, as Fravi was saying, that you write it down. I also love my planner and have to have um, everything color coded that I handwrite. But you can always double check what you've written in your agenda that you were able to pick up a few weeks ago um, with this online version of the calendar. So hope this short tutorial kind of clarified some confusion or taught you a new skill or just reviewed some things that you've already known about uh, our amazing Google Classroom. As always, if you have any questions, concerns, um, feel free to email your teachers. We're here to help. We look forward to seeing you next time and have a great rest of the day. Tschüss. Auf Wiedersehen. Ciao. Ciao. Servus.